Thanks for joining me for this video. I wanted to actually do a video really quick on the Magic Trackpad from Apple. This is actually the new one, Magic Trackpad 2. This is not the silver one. This one is actually a matte white and it's larger, all those fun things. So if you're researching this, I just wanted to do a quick video in case you're like me and you bought it and you were excited and found out it won't work with your Mac. It's important. I was reading the fine print on the back here and I found out that all of the new Magic accessories require Mac OS 10.11 or later. And I believe that is El Capitan or later, or Sierra. And if you're like me, I haven't upgraded yet. I'm still stuck on Yosemite. And the reason I haven't upgraded is because I don't want to deal with all the problems people are having in upgrading. Our business relies on our computers and if we lose Wi-Fi or we have glitches during installation, that's a really big problem. So until I absolutely have to, I'm holding off. Why is that a problem? I bought this new Magic Trackpad and it won't work. So you're going to be forced to upgrade if you want to use this. The way you're gonna know this is if you go to your Apple symbol and then click on about this Mac, it'll tell you what version of the operating system you're using. If it's not 10.11 or later, you're out of luck, sorry. The good news is you can still get the legacy Magic Trackpad which is good because it's an amazing trackpad. It's Bluetooth, wireless, all that good stuff. Apparently, where the problem is with this guy is actually in the Bluetooth. I've read some PC World reviews and things that say this will work if you actually plug it in with a cable, but who wants to do that? Also, in those reviews, I found out that there might be a little bit of misleading going on with this Magic Trackpad. I have not used it, so I'm speaking only from the reviews. If you have an iPhone 6S or later, you know about 3D Touch, which is a system that allows you to apply different pressures in different screens to get different effects. This trackpad does not employ that. This uses Force Touch, which is a little bit different than 3D Touch. I know it's a little confusing, this video is not about the differences between those technologies. All I want to communicate is that the Magic Trackpad does not include 3D Touch. It is only Force Touch. So do some research on the difference between those two before you spend the money to get this guy. Hopefully this video will save you from purchasing something that you're not going to use and the time and headache of returning it. I, for one, am actually going to go to the legacy trackpad because I'm going to wait until I have to update. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. We'll do more videos on Mac accessories in the future.